Artemisia Genaleshi was classified as an important painter during the Baroque era. She was born July 8, 1593, to her mother, Prudentia Monton Gentileschi, who later died when Artemisia was just 12 years old. Her father, Orzario Genaleshi, who was a painter during the Renaissance era. She was described as monstrous for she exercised a creature talent thought to be exclusive to male. Artemisia also had a brother, but she was their only daughter. She had two daughters with her husband, Peter Antonio, whom she later divorced. She had little to no schooling and was trained by her father, Rosario Genaleshi. She was unable to read and write until she became an adult. She was the first woman admitted to Florentine Academy of Fine Arts in 1616, which is where she continued her artistic education. Orzario Genaleschi was an Italian painter born in Tuscany in 1563. He took the name Genaleschi from an uncle he lived with after moving to Rome. His art style was transformed by his contact with another painter of the Renaissance, Caravaggio. He also did many of his art collaborations with Agostino Tassi, which is the same man he later spoke against in 1612 in regards to the rape of his daughter, Artemisia Genaleshi. By the year 1610, Artemisia gave her interpretation painting of Susanna and the Elders at only 17 years old. Artemisia portrayed Susanna as weak and shameful by trying to ignore the things the elderly man would whisper to her. Susanna is bathing herself when two elderly men approach her, threatening her that if she does not perform the sexual acts of their request, they will provide false accusations about her, claiming that she did them anyway, trying to destroy her reputation. Agostini Tassi was a friend of Artemisia's father, Orazario Genaleschi. He also taught her perspective. Although he was teaching her, he was also raping her at just 18 years of age. During this period, rape was equivalent to consensual sex without being married. Tassi promised to marry Artemisia after raping her, but continued to demand sex from her. Tati was obsessed with Artemisia. However, when her father found out about the affair, Tati was arrested in 1612. The trial between Artemisia and Tati lasted seven months. During the trial, Artemisia was tortured, tortured for the truth about the rape committed by Tasi. She was tortured with the civil thumb screws and evolving rope cords tied around her hands and pulled tightly, seriously injuring her hand. But of course, she was still able to paint. Judith and Holofernes was one of Artemisia's most famous paintings during the Baroque era. The story of Judith is surrounded by a beautiful widow who is upset with her Jewish countrymen for not having faith in God to bring them from their foreign conquerors. One night with her loyal maid, she goes to the camp of Holofernes, the enemy. She seduces him just to get information about the Israelites. 
Once she gains his trust, soon after, she goes into his tent, and as he lay there drunk, she behands him with the cross figured like sword with the help of her maid. After the decapitation of Holofernes, Judith takes his head back to the countryman as proof that he is dead for sure. Judith never married. However, she and her Lefranes was used as a metaphor to imitate the Catholic Church and the issues they encountered with the people leaving the church. Without no people in the church, there would be no money. The Catholic Church used art to lure their people back to the church. The enemy is portrayed as her Lefranes who is a Protestant of the Catholic Church. Judith is a metaphor for the church by destroying the Protestant with the help of her maid. On the other hand, Caravaggio uses feminism in his version of Judith beheading Holofernes in 1609. He doesn't portray Judith as dominant and straightforward and fierce as Artemisia does, but he shows her to be a bit intimidated while decapitating Holofernes. Instead of her maid on the side of her, Abra, she is behind her. The painting is depicted as a soft killing which is the way he defines feminism, whereas Artemisia defines feminism as being very firm and determined to come and do what she said she would do. Caravaggio was an Italian painter in the early 1590s to 1610. He was born Michelangelo Merisi da Caravaggio. September 28, 1571. His paintings had a formative influence on Baroque paintings. He led a boisterous life and he was known for brawling. It is said that he killed a man, Renucci Tomassoni from Terni, Umbria. Although it is unclear of what may have led to the young man's death. Venetian painter Jacopi Robusti, also known as Tintorio or Tu Furioso, became of the energy he distributed throughout his paintings. He was portrayed Susanna as innocent and unaware of her surroundings. A young married woman, minding her own business while taking a peaceful bath, is taunted by elders of the community who watch her. They peek around the corner and through the cracks, waiting to see when it's the best opportunity to get her alone. Coincidentally, the men are acquaintances of Susan's husband. Jacopo Robusti was described as the best painter of the Italian Renaissance. He was born in Venice, Italy in 1518. His career took off from the 1530s up until his death in 1594. He worked as an independent artist by 1539. His individual style sets him apart from some of the movements of the Renaissance. In 1555, Alessandro Allori portrays Susanna to be easy and nude. Her body is the focus of the painting. Susanna faces one of the elders with her body twisted as they both grab the heads of one another. While her body faces the direction of the other elder with his hands going up between her legs and her thighs, she has her most attention on the elder who is grasping her head and her wrist from behind as she cracks a smirk. She seems to enjoy the scene. In the background, there is a forbidden fruit and even a dog that lay between Susanna and one of the elders 
which appears to be trying to get away. Alessandro Olori, also known as Alessandro Di Cristofano Di Lorenzo, Del Brazzini Olori, was born May 31st, 1535 in Florence. He was the father of painter Cristofani Allori. Allori was trained by a close friend, often referred as his uncle, the mannerist painter Agnolo Bronzino. It is said that Allori is the last of the line of prominent Florentine painters. Renaissance art began in the 1400s and the paintings depicted human emotion in detail. Renaissance is an Italian word for rebirth, and the art spread throughout the continent of Europe between the 14th and 17th century. The art was focused on the importance and significance of the concept known as perception, the concept drawing that makes the three-dimensional look of the art piece possible. Renaissance art is characterized by the fusion of Christianity and science in order to create realism through art. Baroque paintings were filled with much more drama and emphasis than Renaissance. Baroque art has four characteristics, light, realism, and naturalism, lines, and time. It is characterized by ornate details. Baroque paintings began in the late 16th century and the mid 18th century. Baroque art focused more on emotions. It was also used to lure more crowds back into the Catholic Church. This is my art story. It resembles the way a woman overpowers a man who appears to have much more power than her. This picture is based on Artemisius, Judith, and her Lephanes, in which she is fierce and overbearing to a man. She goes to work on the man as her friend behind her supports her.